The long-term complications of ulcerative colitis are that of colon cancer. Since this is an inflammatory bowel disease, ongoing inflammation appears to lead to an increased risk of cancer in the colon. That risk appears to occur after eight to 10 years of having ongoing ulcerative colitis, and the risk increases for every year that the colitis is active after that initial eight to 10 year period. The risk is also related to the amount of the colon that's affected by the ulcerative colitis. So for example, people with ulcerative colitis that is limited to a very small part of the intestine have less of a risk of developing colon cancer than those who have ulcerative colitis that affects their entire colon. In patients with long-standing ulcerative colitis, monitoring for the development of colorectal cancer is important. Surveillance for the development of colorectal cancer involves the use of colonoscopy and biopsy. A colonoscope is a thin tube with a light and a camera at the end of it that is inserted into the rectum and passed around the intestine. Biopsies, or small samples of the lining of the colon, can be taken and are typically taken in intervals around the intestine, even in areas that do not look like they are affected by ulcerative colitis. Those biopsy samples are designed to detect a condition known as dysplasia. Dysplasia is a change in the lining of the intestine that may indicate the development of colorectal cancer. If dysplasia is found, it may be a sign that it is time to remove the entire colon, called colectomy, in order to prevent the development of colorectal cancer in that colon. The colectomy is usually done by removing the entire colon, but often attaching the end of the small intestine to the very end part of the intestine called the anus in a so-called ilioanal anastomosis. The ilium is the small intestine, the anus is the very end part of the large intestine, and anastomosis means connection. An ilioanal anastomosis allows for a patient not to have a colostomy bag at the end of this procedure, but because their colon has been removed, they no longer have a risk of colorectal cancer.